Hello and uh, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on this uh, Samsung dishwasher. This dishwasher is the model number uh, 5060 that you see right there. One of the or a couple of the special features that Samsung is kind of touting on this uh, dishwasher is that the dishwasher is only 48 decibels so it should be quieter than the normal or the average dishwasher and also it's got the storm wash which is a way that it sprays the dishes to get it cleaner and also it also has the the uh the way it dries the dishes it will automatically open the for the last 10, 15 minutes to help it air dry quicker. An option for this or a feature that this also has is if you look at the stainless steel finish on this, it's got the thing where you will not be able to get any fingerprints on it. So you can just be touching it and no problems with fingerprints. All the controls are on the top edge of the dishwasher itself. While these are not actually, these buttons have no feedback. These buttons are actually um, have a kind of a capacitive type function or when you're pushing the buttons, there is no, you don't feel the button actually moving. It's just a touch sensitive type of thing that it's got on there. And another feature that all the dishwashers are going for now is that dishwashers themselves, they will actually have three different racks. So you've got the top rack, which is basically for your utensils and other stuff that will not fit on the lower racks. You've got the middle rack and also the bottom rack. Bottom rack is for stuff that's gonna be a lot taller, like your pots and pans. And also a neat feature this has, if we pull this out, you'll see the adjustment knob right there, which is for making the rack go up higher and lower depending on what you're needing to load. That feature really comes in handy in case you have something that you want to put this rack kind of lower or if you want to get it kind of closer up higher so you can fit more larger items on the bottom. So looking at the inside, the actual housing and everything is actually a type of metal it doesn't feel like a stainless steel this is more of like a like an aluminum or something and here is that storm wash function i was mentioning that red disc that you see right there Installation of this unit is pretty normal. You're basically going, when you pull the unit out, you will just have the, the drain line, the actual line that you use for the water input and also the electricity, electricity which is the three wires. A feature that, or a, a thing that happens that I've noticed often is there are times where I'm, I have the door open and I'm loading dishes and I will accidentally brush my leg against the side, which will set it off, which turns it on. A thing that surprised me as far as with this new dishwasher compared to my old one is the actual washing times. So if you look on here, you've got auto, you've got all these different functions for the washing of dishes. Auto is, if you look on here, 
that is actually how long it's going to take to wash that. You go through all these other features, normal, heavy. So it is actually going to take a while to wash all these dishes. You have it set to normal and as you can see here, it's going to take two hours and 50 minutes. You've got the express, which is an hour. And then if you want rinse only, it's going to be 17 minutes. And then you've got the other options that you can add onto there, which kind of tack on to the time. So just doing that, three hours just to wash some dishes. That gets pretty crazy. You've got the standard uh, delay start. So if you don't want to start washing immediately, you can delay it for a couple hours. And that's basically all the features that you have on here. As far as the sound wise, I really didn't notice much of a difference between this one and my older dishwasher. So my older dishwasher was a GE and it was rated at 64 decibels. So yeah, this one is 48. I guess it's gonna be a little bit quieter, but I really didn't notice that much of a difference. What I did notice though was if you look at the quality of how it washes so usually on stuff like this i will actually get spots from the soap used so here i am using like the same actual dishwashing soap and you can see there's no streaks no nothing in here so that's actually a plus So other than taking a long time to wash and also when you have it down to start loading the dishes, the accidental rub, so accidental rub like that on the side that turns it on to kind of annoys you. Yes, it does have this button right here to lock it, but from my test of using it, it really didn't do any. It didn't make a difference. So I guess if you really didn't want to have it turn on for no reason, you can always flip that power switch in the back to turn it off, turn the power off to the dishwasher manually. And that concludes my review of the dishwasher. This is the 5060. If you have any questions or comments, leave it down below and thanks for watching. Bye.